a Strats here and um, there's going to be a tutorial for most Minecraft players. Um, if you don't play Minecraft it's not really that useful um, but it's changing the texture pack which is basically um, making your whole Minecraft look different. Um, I'll go into my Minecraft and uh, it changes the graphics and all that stuff. Um, I'll just go into single player. I'll make a new world because it might not be daytime. And uh, you'll see, okay, that's gone all weird, but it'll maximize it. Here we go. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, uh, this is a lot different to the default. And as you can see, I've got an S in the sky there as the moon or the sun or whatever it is. That's the sun, I think. Um, but yeah, the sun and the moon pretty much look the same. So, um, But yeah, the grass is different. It's a whole lot more. Um, detailed and uh, realistic, well Minecraft's not realistic at all really but it does make it look a lot better and um, this is a pack from Doku's, um, if you don't know who that is, uh, he's, his pack's pretty popular now, um, seen and has used it and all that stuff and uh, I'll put the link in the description to that but what I've done, I've edited Doku's pack, um, I've changed a few things around um, uh, not that much, but as you can see, I changed that, and I also changed some gold and diamonds and stuff, which I'll show you now. So base and the HUD, if you didn't see that. <laughs> um, so yeah, go off that. So basically, I'm going to show you how to edit your own HUD and textures and all that stuff. Uh, textures are harder than the HUD, so I'll just show you the HUD first. Actually, um, if you select the pen tool, pencil tool, sorry which is behind the brush tool, if you've got brush selected go to pencil tool make it 1, size 1 then you want to zoom in to, to where you can see all the squares <sighs> sorry and um, I'm going to select pencil, pencil tool, oh my god this is ridiculous <laughs> and then I'm going to go to where that is grey and I'm going to change it to brown and uh, I kind of went over the line, you've got to be careful while doing this, don't try and do it too too far because you'll mess it up and um, basically I've selected two different shades of brown this is kind of orangey but whatever um, you get the idea um, and I'm gonna fill in these lines which uh, are kind of the lighting it kind of gives it a bevel effect and uh, it looks really cool so you can see where the lighting is uh, you can see where the dark bit is, and uh, I'm not going to do all of this because that's ridiculous. And then you select the other colour and go to the dark part and do that as well. And then when you're in Minecraft, you really see the difference. And uh, you can basically do whatever you want with these as long as you kind of keep the squares in the same position. Um, that's what I'm going to do because that's really not. But if you want to keep the squares in the same position and change them, uh, let me just undo all of that. All you really need to do is select the squares with the marquee tool. Um, what I would suggest is do one square and then when you've done the square, say if I wanted to change the colour, change it to orange or whatever. Now it's orange. Now what you want to do, you want to select the square again and that was awful. And then Control or Command copy and Control or Command V and that will copy and paste it. Now you've got another square and you just drag it along into the next box and you can just keep doing that, change the colours and do whatever you like. Um, and it looks really cool on Minecraft. Uh, I'll just change it, show you the textures now which is terrain. Um, I've changed the diamond, the gold and the iron. Um, I've also changed the glass, which you can't really see because it's just basically transparent. Um, what else have I changed? Oh, I changed the colour of the water as well. Not the colour, but the uh, brightness. Um, if you want to do that, just select the boxes. That was a horrible try. So, just fill that bit in. Now you've got that bit, and then hold down shift and do it again onto that box so you've got it all filled go to hue and saturation 
and then you could have any colour water you like. You want pink water? Do you want pink water? You can have pink water. You can have blue lava. I really couldn't care less. But it's so it's a lot of fun to play with, and um, it makes your Minecraft look really cool. Like you could you could put logos on these textures and make it your own world. Um, the only problem is if you're in a server, the other people can't see it, which is kind of annoying. Um, unless you give them your texture pack, which would be funny, but um, it's you can have a lot of fun with this and change it all up. And all you have to do is use this trusty little pencil tool by selecting little squares. And that was I don't know why I've done that because I'm not going to use that. Um, as you, I'm just going to show you the files and stuff here. Um, Minecraft resources and packs. So this is Doku's pack, uh, there's two of them because one of them's without the flowers or whatever and there's another one which I'm not really sure what it is but um, yeah Doku's pack is probably the best one I've seen so far and uh, it basically has all these files in like this and you can pretty much change most of the things GUI is where all the HUD is and all that stuff as you can see um, if we go back uh, Terrain which is even is it even in here? Oh yeah, item. Okay, terrain isn't in here. I probably oh, because I've taken it out of this one. By checking this one, there you go. Terrain. Um, that's basically all the textures. So you just put all these files into Photoshop, edit them how you like, and I'll put both links. The one to my pack which I edited Doku's and Doku's pack original pack um, the gold is messed up on mine I'm not sure if it's just me or what but basically the gold in Minecraft has a corner of fire in the top right and I'm not sure why um, I haven't been able to change it because as you can see it looks fine here and there's no fire in that corner but I'm really not sure but um, have a play with it it's a lot of fun. Um, you can also do um, character skins as well, which is pretty easy. You do the same thing. Just go get the file from Minecraft.net, uh, and that's about it. So thanks a lot, and peace out.